For senior quarterback Matt McGloin, the journey to being one of the top quarterbacks in the Big Ten has been a humbling one. We knew right away that we had a smart guy. We knew right away we had a guy that was going to work. We knew we had a competitive guy. You have to give Matt a lot of credit. This guy's had a, had a good year. He could have gone to smaller schools, but the kid with the gunslinger mentality and inner confidence decided he wanted to walk on at Penn State. Matt's had a unique journey here at Penn State. It hadn't always been easy for him, and, and it's not easy. But I, I think when you look at Matt walking on here at Penn State to, to come to where he's gotten to, that tells you a lot about him as a person. And we want to see him go out on a high note, run our offense, play well. As an underclassman, Matt spent much of his time as the scout team quarterback running the opponent's plays. He took advantage of this opportunity and improved his game against a top flight Nittany Lion defense. Through fate, the window of opportunity opened to him. At times he started, at times he came off the bench, and he led Penn State to some important wins. With each experience, McGloin grew and learned about his inner strength and resolve. This past summer, you know, he came out every day and got extra work with Allen Robinson and, and Brandon Felder, you know. And, you know, he, he took it to the next level because he started to become more vocal. coach, a new philosophy, and the benefit of his extensive game experience, Matt McGloin has become a quarterback who has mastered a complicated pro-style scheme and made Penn State an offense to be feared on every snap. This offense is made for a guy like Matt McGloin. Matt understands football. He's a smart kid, and, and smart guys like to be challenged. What Coach O'Brien does here in this offense, and you know, you got to be able to think and process information in a hurry. And that's a great challenge for Matt. He's come light years, and, and he wants to be coached. He wants to be really good. He wants to go out in his fifth year and really put a good year together. Well, Matt's played great. Uh, you know, I think Matt, we, we kind of nicknamed him the Scranton Scrapper, you know. And, uh, but he's doing more than just scrapping this year. I mean, he's been efficient. I don't know that there's a, a quarterback in the Big Ten that's played at a better level or more consistent level than Matt's played at all year. I've been really impressed with Matt McGloin. Seems like he makes a lot of good decisions, you know, and that, that's so much of being a good quarterback. I love his attitude. I love his demeanor on the field. Never seems like he gets too high. He never seems like he gets too low. You know, he stays in the game, stays in the moment, and just makes good read after good read, and that's what makes a good quarterback. McGloin has developed into the consummate leader in the locker room, on the practice field, in the huddle, and at the line of scrimmage. You have to give him a lot of credit. Uh, we've coached him, we've, we've given him the, the guidelines and the parameters, and he's gone out there and done it himself. You know, I think Matt McGloin's the best passing quarterback in the Big Ten for, for various reasons, but one, he's been extremely consistent. He's been able to process the information in a very complex offensive system that we run here at Penn State, and his numbers have been great every week. I mean, he's done what we asked him to do. He's prepared hard, and he's gone out and played well.